This video FAQ for Cyber Cafe Pro is how to set up the launch pad in the client station. To demonstrate, let's start and edit a brand new group. Here we can rename group 5 to whatever we want. We'll call it Fantasy Sports. So within this group we can add buttons. So let's go ahead and push the add under number 2 and choose a caption which is what the customer will see in the launch pad. We'll call it Yahoo Fantasy. Go ahead and collect, uh, select an icon. We'll choose any one just for example. You can also choose the back color, the font to highlight the button and to copy the format to all the buttons in that group. We can now go ahead and choose to create a website by using the Dropbox and then entering the URL. We'll do fantasy.yahoo.com. Then we can choose whether to put it in a subgroup, whether to assign a sound and if there's an ESRB rating we can assign it to that. That's more for gaming. We can now choose to add an image if we want. You don't have to, but it's what the customer will see when they click on the button. I'll add a football player for it being fantasy sports. Add a description of what the Yahoo Fantasy is here so people will know when they see it. It'll be under the picture. You can choose after that a background color or to, to change the font below if you choose. And then in number four below it, you can choose different options that you want, whether you want the taskbar or the time bar to be on top, or if you want to have the uh, client interface pop up when uh, to still be there once that program is launched. Those ones are all basically up to you. And that's about it for setting up a launch pad button. If you have any further questions, please join us at www.cybercafeprosupport.com. Here, you can submit a ticket to our tech support, read our knowledge base articles and video FAQs, or interact with other Cyber Cafe Pro and One Roof Report users at our community forums. Thank you for using One Roof Cyber Cafe Pro.